At last, Tsundere Elf is finally back. And it's kind of weird because she was never really gone. It's just that the show has such a long break and we haven't had her in like the previous episode where Mabel came back. It's like, oh my god, the great return, but it's not really the case, but it is to us because of the break. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Isekai OG Sun. Last episode, Sundre Elf was going pretty hard. She has some crazy battling skills. You know how she was able to bring OG Sun like back from his dragon form and then the guy came up. But the most important, sh important thing is her love for OG Sun is so strong that she bought the ring back remember the important ring that oji kind of gave to her and saying you can just sell it off and that'll be like your retirement fund but she's like i'm gonna get it back because that's how much i care for you there's some really cute scenes with her and she still won't tell us her name why because she's apparently royalty right? she's a princess that ran away now everybody's back we have about three episodes left to conclude the season i hope there's some kind of big overarching arc that's gonna happen to conclude it but let's start today's episode suspicious man oh when Plakafumi um got the powers and he basically used it on her okay now this is the, the the creepy looking younger brother i think right yeah 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 we really scared her off though. Dakapumi actually seemed like an evil dude. <laughs> Both of them look so kind of deviously evil right now. <laughs> I feel bad for him, man. It's just a misunderstanding. Bro! The way he's talking and his facial expression makes us think it's so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Collection of what? It's just a fucking bug. <laughs> look, at, look at him like run like a kid, but he's not a kid at all. He just looks like a, you know, grown ass delinquent. Huh? I don't blame her. No, this is the right response. This is a very suspicious household. A cult? A cult of Oji-san, maybe? Oh, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> He's gonna show the most, like, creepiest face. No one's leaving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not gonna greet her? Like, hello? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> College days? What does he think? What is it, no reaction? I mean, is he really a scumbag? For I mean, if that's that's a no, he's looking for that actually. It wasn't the tits. He's more worried about that. Other guys on this excursion trip? Oh my god, the tan lines. Relax, relax. The tan lines are. Who is that guy? No, not you. He's... He only cares about different guys or in the vicinity of the picture. <laughs> it's completely changed. Yet Chiaki just looks like a cute little brother. Oh, she hasn't realized. Of course. The Chiaki's right there. Yeah, yeah, he's right. He's right there. That's him. Yes. Show him. So it's probably just like bugs, right? Just videos of bugs. But when you're talking with the facial expression like that, man, it's just so, it's so bad. Is she getting jealous? Huh? Why is she pushing her to him? Huh? She's getting a little... She's like, are you making moves on my guy? Hmm, what are you doing? Yeah, he is. It's just... Yes. Getting pretty close. Relax, calm down, cool down. He gave him a little nosebleed to relax? Huh? Oh, we're showing her. Are we sure we should be showing her this powers? Alright, whatever, she's in now. Oh, Chiaki didn't realize too, but should we be just doing the powers like this? Uh, yeah, uh, uh... You didn't see anything. Uh, it, it erased your memory. <laughs> but if you do that, didn't you say that their personalities may change? Hot spring episode. Oh. Oh. Elf, Mabel, and maybe even uh, Alicia. Oh. 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 Watch this be Oji-san. No, watch this be Oji-san and not like a girl. Watch. Ah, stop it. The old man groans. Uh. Stop it. I'm glad that he's enjoying the hot spring though. Where's Elf? Where's Mabel? Oh. Oh. 
You got elf? Giving me like summer festival kind of vibes. I stop! Enough! I've seen the scene enough! Stop it! Okay, good. Back to the scene with elf. Oh. Oh. She's smiling a lot recently. She's so happy. This reminds me of almost like a... When they were in Kimono and stuff like that, Yukata. It's like a summer festival. Fireworks obviously doesn't exist here, but... I don't know, I want to see like a fireworks scene with Elf, where like the fireworks go off and Elf's about to make a move, and then no one can hear anything. Maybe she confessed, you know, all those romantic cliches. If you got to share, then... Oh... You don't know... Only one group of guests. No, 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 get out of here, kid. How dare you? <laughs> Elf is like, you will not destroy my plan for the defense move. <laughs> okay. She is so damn bad, but that kid is just like scarred for life now. Oh, he had a floor in it. <laughs> yeah, this is like really old times, right? Bye. <laughs> Bro, come on. She works so hard. You, it's a mystery space. He's just like, I, I guess. Um. I guess it kind of looks like he's being courteous, not really, but come on, read the read the room, man. Oh? What are you doing? Massage time? Hmm? I mean, if you make moves like this, this is actually okay, okay? Smart. Oh, wait, we're about to get some like. Uh oh. She's gonna start moaning really badly, uh oh. Louder. Louder. <laughs> this is true. He's finally like banging her and being, you know, good. Oh, this is actually hurting her. Never mind. Hey, this angle is a bit too much. I mean, hey, fan service? A lack of fan service, my ass. You just. Where did he just grab? Where did he just grab? Hey, there's so many scenes like this where Oji-san just gives up. <laughs> this might be the most fan service inducing episode so far. And like, usually in Hot Spring episodes, you would expect it from the bath itself. But we didn't even get any of that. Instead, we're just going right into the bed. He's got her like fucking open like this. Sometimes I wonder about this show. But... That face is not very, you know. Mm. It's time. Oji san, say something bad and ruin the mood. Hmm? Hmm? What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! 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 no. Resume! Resume! Go back and play it in like half, you know, speed mode. Wait, go back to the other angle! Yeah. <laughs> Just relax. Huh? What kind of magic is this? Someone was listening? Who? Who's... Wait, it's Alicia! One of the peak. I didn't know they were here. Alicia, though. I wanted, like, Mabel around, too. Maybe Mabel's around. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to incorporate her to the story, but I mean, they showed up. It's time to kill you. How dare you ruin this mood? You know her? Who is this girl to you? Um, what kind of relationship? I have no clue. How do you even describe this? Are they friends? I don't know. Lovers? She probably said something like forbidden lovers. I don't think he gave it to her as like a proposal though. It's more of like, I want you to be financially, you know, <laughs> secure to just take the ring and go away kind of thing. No one... No, we only gave one to Mabel. No, we gave it to that guy in the previous episode too. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> are, you, are they after her heart? I don't think they really care. Are they romantically interested in her? I've never seen anything that leads to that. No, it's like, now we're good. It's just childhood friends. Like, I don't... And that's just... It's almost like sister zoned. Yeah. Childhood friends. Now we got their childhood friends. True. 
I mean, I, I think Fujimiya still has a chance with Taiga for me, but like here they're just like, it's, too, it's, it's already too late. Oh, the one, right. It's a... That looks like a vibrator, eh, yo? I mean, the one kind of just looks like a magic wand right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Again, more like important things that we're just using for like regular day tools so Elf gets pissed off at it. Oh? Elf? Oh? What's going on? She's putting on her armor? Does she always have this kind of cool transformation? I think she's about to go there. Can she fly? Oh no, the credits are playing already. Oh, that's already over. We gotta go get it. I'm not sure what's going on right now, but Elf seems to have a misunderstanding of her and her childhood friends. And she's gonna retrieve some important stuff. Yeah? Bye? What about our mood? It's already Ancient magic tool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know. That would be good to know in the game. So... She's just gone? Okay. Bye. Yado,主人曰く神の力で立てられたらしいからな。パワーを持っていて、あべちくい。Wait, fire all of a sudden? The f Since when? Who set this on fire? What? Who is this thing? Okay, we got a new threat as soon as Elf left, though. The fuck? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, but the next threat's coming in. Oh my god, stop it. For a hot spring episode, I did not expect the fan service to come out outside the hot spring itself. The most, you know, fan service we got from the hot spring was this fucking old man just moaning. <laughs> I don't, I don't blame him. That's what I, I probably sound like too in the hot spring, but oh my god, the scenes for Oji-san always, it's not the first time either where he like spreads a girl's legs just by holding them out like, like legs like this. It's like, relax, relax. That's so much fan service. It's so aggressive, but it seems like there's a, like an ongoing plot right now, right? Elf is going to retrieve some ancient tools in the mountains. We're under attack by this mysterious thing that's lit the place on fire. And I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but goddamn. Goddamn, that was a lot of fan service in this episode. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube algorithm push out my channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. And until next time, guys, take care.